9,000 BTU evaporator coil. So going through that simple process again, a small unit like this, all you need is a spray can. And we are just spraying the hell out of the coils. And that's it. And so repeat this process twice throughout the whole coil to prevent corrosion in case your evaporator coil is anywhere with any kind of things like ammonia from cleaners, chlorines, sulfurs, the things that cause leaks. You get leaks in evaporators after five years, eight years, 10 years or stuff like that. And you get them on the edges of the metal or at the very bottom of the coil. This is the bottom of the coil. This is where all the water runs down. So every impurity, every chemical in the air goes in, mixes the water, comes down, and even when your AC is off, if it's AC season, that bottom coil, all the water comes down and all those chemicals sit there and they make salts and they became a battery electrolyte that reacts between the copper and the aluminum. And you get that galvanic action going on there, electrolysis, eating away at the metal. You get the solvents that come out of your Windex. Anybody using any cleaner with ammonia in it or a chlorine molecule constantly attacking your copper or sulfur in a period of time you have premature failures. So a simple addition to the life of your coil just takes a little bit of work. And that's all I'm performing here. And it'll be a done deal and go back together. All right, catch you guys on the next one. Short one today. It was too busy for any real big long videos. And uh, catching it before the sun goes down. See ya.